Today we're going to be talking about an Arcane Bombardment deck, and in today's deck we're going to be playing this in a Jeskai build, which is new territory for me because we've always run the Bombardment out in like a Grixis or Marty shell, but never Jeskai. And for those who don't know what the Bombardment does, it essentially reads as if you play an instant or sorcery spell, um, it's going to take an instant or sorcery um, at random from your graveyard, placing it underneath the Bombardment, playing it out for free, and then it's going to basically stack these instant or sorceries every single time. Over time, you kind of run away with the game with this cascading ability. It's it's absolutely insane. Uh, today's win con is going to be Explosive Singularity, a card that burns your opponent's face for 10 damage, which is pretty busted, but it's very expensive, which is why we've got it in this bombard. I'm sorry. This is why we've got it in the um, Arcane Bombardment build, because we try to get it to the graveyard and have it come back underneath the bombardment, casting it for free. It's a cheap way to get a, a really cheeky win. We've also got Burn Down the House, which can win you the game. You can you can kind of run away with these 1-1 uh, one, one Devils that you're going to be creating every single turn if you can get that underneath the Bombardment as well. Uh, with the Jeskai colors, we have access to blue, so we have things like uh, you know Big Score as well as Thirst for Discovery to kind of get all of our car uh, cards we want to the graveyard, like Explosive Singularity, um, and some other really great control cards along the way to help us get there. Uh, we did have to run Negate in this deck because of things like Invoke Despair that kind of hit, hit this deck pretty hard, uh, but uh, for the most part, aside from Mono Black, there's not a lot of enchantment removal out there, so um, I thought this deck would be a really fun uh, deck to try out and see how we can do. Uh, we had some really great games with it, but before we jump into the game so there'll be a full deck breakdown at the end of today's video so stick around for that in the meantime down below there's a full deck list if you guys need that and if you guys enjoy content just like this if you wouldn't mind giving the video a like subscribe all that good stuff helps a ton and i would greatly appreciate it with that being said though guys enjoy today's video we'll see you back here at the end peace what's up everybody welcome back to another video today we are talking about jeskai and we're going to be playing um some bombardment today bombardment's a really really fun deck uh that everyone usually kind of enjoys so we're going to be trying it today in jeskai we're going to see if there's anything here in jeskai that can uh, merit a pretty good bombardment deck which i think there is destroy evil uh there's a lot of uh decent spells that you can uh utilize when in blue and blue and white thirst for discovery obviously we've got a really great hand here uh, to kick things off uh mono black might be tricky actually mono black might be tricky just because of the invoke despair uh we've got to keep our eyes out on that but let's go ahead and just pass the turn invoke despair obviously because of the Ar arcane bombardment would be pretty bad so finding a negate in this particular matchup is going to be very important Evolve Sleeper, and they're going to pump my mana into it right away. Yep. Yep, yep. Basic land, that's pretty good for the uh, Thirst for Discovery. If that's what we decide to do. It depends on what our top decks are, if it's more mana or not. Uh, that's fine. I'm trying to get to the burn down the house here. Obviously, because it's a lot of damage we're going to be taking for the next couple of turns here. Let's see if the Discovery hits. Um... I like the Sunset Revelry here. That's fantastic. That was a really good draw. That was a really good draw. Now, we could go for the Revelry and then maybe killing the Evolve Sleeper with the Destroy Evil. I think that's a pretty solid play. I like the big score there, too, just because we can get the Bombardment in early, but I don't think there's any rush on that. Again, I'd rather have the Negate in hand in order for the Bombardment to be... A viable option. All right, we got some great blocks against these little two one one or two ones, and uh, there's not much they can do. So, just gonna sit and wait. Oh, I guess they are gonna send them. I know they can get them back from the graveyard, so it is what it is. But still, very good blocks for us in exchange. All right, I think I'm just gonna play the big score here. Uh, do we drop? Burn down the house, just in case we draw. I mean, if we don't get what we need, big score. Shoot, what are they going to take? Burn down the house looking a lot better now. All right, there goes our destroy evil. Allowing the two damage to get through, not a big deal. We've gained a lot of life from the uh, first Sunset Revelry. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop. 
I guess the big score. It, it kind of stinks to drop the big score here, though. I'm not going to lie. These other cards in hand, though, are much better, I feel like. We do get another big score, though, so that's nice. All right, we're going to take this very slow. Again, the bombardment play is not something I just want to willy-nilly throw out there, especially because we're in the realm of Invoke Despair where they have more than five mana to use. So, uh, you know, you just got to be really careful. Uh, it might be worth playing. I'm just trying to debate on whether or not I wanted to play that, but it does look like I want to. Gaining that life seems pretty good. Also, blocking the skeleton seems fine. I'm going to actually let the skeleton get through. Oh, they don't attack. I was going to let it get through, actually, because of the fact that they would have been able to just replay their whole hand. All right. Then uh, in that case, we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn again. Back to you, my friend. Back to you, my friend. Big score. Going to hit really nice here. Uh, dropping the destroy evil seems like the right call here. There's not going to be a lot of creatures that it can kill except for maybe like a shieldred. Um, it's pretty narrow. Pretty narrow what it can hit. So let's hope the big score is going to find us uh, a negate. That's what we're really looking for. They still don't attack, which is kind of strange to me. I'm not going to lie. They can they can attack into the one ones and then replay all the skeletons. It seems like uh, you would want to do that. There's the negates. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're playing magic, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can protect the bombardment all day. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we send uh, nobody through because we don't we, we're not the aggressor here. We're the we're the defensive player at the moment, which I'm a OK with. No invoke despair there. I was surprised that they uh, didn't have it. I thought maybe they were big braining it and holding on to it because they knew we were a bombardment deck, but apparently not. Apparently not. Let the fun begin. Let the bombardment fun begin all right we get to gain some life here love that getting some little devilish ghouls on the floor love that too no attacks yet i know i can start getting aggressive probably now but i'm just gonna go ahead and, and, and hang back still I'm, I'm gonna play still a little defensively i know i'm a much more passive player than most people which is probably gets me in trouble sometimes but i like to know that i'm secure in the battlefield before i make any moves again i know it bites me in the butt sometimes but Having a negate here just feels so good. Eight mana. They replay all their skeletons. That'd be a bummer. All right, we'll do it like so. Oh, I completely, completely misunderstood how the skeleton works. No wonder they weren't attacking with it. I thought it was whenever a skeleton creature died, not a non-skeleton creature. What a bummer. Okay, I actually misunderstood that the entire time. I am lame for that one. All right, let's go ahead and um, R4 damage to their three. Uh, it's, it's become a decent race now. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess we go for it. Wow, I'm uh, I'm silly, man. I, I don't know why I when I first read this, I thought it, you know, was skeleton creature, but it's actually a non skeleton creature. So there I go. First game making a silly little misplay. All right. Shieldred's on deck now, though. That makes things a little bit tough. Um, I do need to draw into some sort of spell here, though, if I'm going to get more value out of the bombardment. The mana is there. We have plenty of mana. I just need uh, some spells now. Some spells. Mm, that's not a spell. That's a that's a bummer is what we call that. All right. Back to playing defensively. Wow, the top decks have been atrocious, huh? This is what we call a mana flood, my friends. A mana flood. We need, uh, I mean, anything will do. I'll literally take anything. There we go. That works too. <laughs> that also will work. 
Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. They say oops because I did the sequencing on that one a little bit wrong. I could have saved myself a bit of damage there, but it's fine. All right, they get back the skeleton though. That's fine. And I'm happy to now allow this to die because they're out of mana, so... But they can now blitz it in every single turn and then potentially get back um, some of their threats. A second bombardment seems like a lot of fun. Let's play this out now. That way I can get um, my bombardment triggers. Love that. And big score, destroy evil and sunset. Big score. Sunset. Decline. All right. There we go. We draw a card. We gain some life. Big score hits us with two more cards. And we hit them. Bada bing, bada boom. I mean, look at how much mana we have here. I definitely played this game a little sloppy based on the fact that I didn't know how their cards worked for a second there. Um, and I also out, you know, redid the sequencing incorrectly, like I said. But um, aside from those two things, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how this game's going, especially against Mono Black. Mono Black's never um, a really fun one to have to deal with. All right. That's fine. They're kind of toast here, though, because we have burned down the house in hand and they didn't have the invoke despair. And even if they did, we would only be losing one bombardment. So I'm more than happy with the uh, the outcome here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, or we can just do this. <laughs> or we can just do this. GG's. <laughs> Auto pay. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Oh, you're going to make me go through all of this? <laughs> All right, decline, decline, decline. Uh, GG's, man. Oh, I love taking down Mono Black. Anything in the meta always feels good to beat. So, GG's. Again, sorry for the misplays. We're still working the kinks out, but we'll get it cleaned up here. All right, solid first game. Two bombardments resolved. I've actually, I've actually not resolved two bombardments in quite some time. So that was really, really cool. Double, double bombardment is just absolutely silly. Opening hand here. I go first. Oh, man. This could be really good if I find a blue source, like, off the top. It could be really solid. Uh, Thirst for Discovery, being able to put the Singularity in the graveyard, and then hopefully finding that Bombardment. Um, Mono Black. All right. Yep. I figured that was going to be what we see here. Uh, my turn. A little bit of uh, creature and card draw here. Let's go. Love that. Love that. We finally find our blue source for the thirst. Plenty of great creatures and I'm sorry. Plenty of great cards in hand here too. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind them getting rid of the sunset. It's not something I think I want to replay later. Um, once we find the bombardment. Kind of the same idea. We're going to need to find. Um, we're going to need to find the negate. And um, the Bombardment. Those are the two cards we're going to need here. Burn down the house looking pretty solid against the board state right now. Oh, this is Orzov, though. Orzov, huh? I'll have this fight finished before brunch. They minus. Wow. All right. They take care of my 1-1, one, one, which I would have used the block and they would have gotten it anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. We're going to take a bit of damage here. Uh, this can go... Um, again, I don't care about them exiling these two cards from the graveyard. I want um, it, the the I want them to be I want my graveyard to be as thinned out as possible to where uh, we're hitting you know the biggest spells, like burn down the house for instance. That's a that's a good one to have continuously come back. So if we can find a bombardment now, it ups our chances of finding this burn down the house. The opponent having this tenacious underdog being able to come back and forth is really annoying though. And there's the invoke despair. We hate that. We hate that. All right. We're kind of toast here if they have another one. They probably do, I would imagine. They always seem to have it, so. Shieldred, that's fine. 
We destroy Shieldred. We get the negate, which is huge. We allow that. That's fine. They had to pump mana into that. And the negate, again, going to be huge because of the fact that our opponent is going to be running out. Uh, that invoke despair. We got to be prepared for that. Um, hopefully, it's another shielded type of an effect. We have, you know, the, the fateful absence. But no, it's another bank buster. Also, totally fine. Um, hopefully, they crew up the bank buster here. That'd be fantastic. They're thinking about it. <laughs> there it goes. They're crewing up the bank buster, uh, which leaves us a really good fateful absence here. We'll be seeing you. All right. They were thinking about crewing up that second one, but they had summoning sickness. So all's good. Drop that. There's our bombardment, and we have plenty of treasures, too. Uh, love that. I love that. All right. All right, so bombardment's coming down for sure, and we have how much mana left over? Four plus the two. This is so good. We can uh, we can hit the big score now, and then we also get the two additional treasures, uh, bringing us back to four mana, and we hopefully get a good spell here. What's it going to be? Singularity, baby. Singularity, that's gonna be game. That's gonna be game because we have an instant speed negate, uh, which if we play, we get to cast that singularity again. So bada bing, bada boom, we got him. <laughs> that is, uh, that was tough. That was tough. The the faithful absence is uh, very helpful too because if it's a tenacious underdog that they intend to play here, uh, we also can win the game that way. Either way, we're locked in. So there's the clue token, sure. They do kind of have to play something for me to interact with, though. If they don't play anything, they survive. <laughs> That's kind of tricky. But, uh, yeah, I think we, we've got this locked down. GG's, my friend. GG's. That'll do it. Singularity for the win, man. That's why the card's in the deck. We try to get the singularity to the graveyard fast and early, and then boom, we hit them twice. And that's good games. Love it. All right, so far, so good, man. That singularity really carried the way on that last one. That was a close game. Uh, a lot closer than I would have liked. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy it went that way. I hope you guys are all enjoying today's video, by the way, man. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it so very much. Um... Ooh, no interaction until turn three with the thirst, but I still think I'm going to keep it here. The mana is too good to pass up on. Uh, let's see what the opponent's on. Hopefully nothing too aggressive here. Mm, burn down the house would be pretty important if this is an aggressive deck. We'll see. We'll see. If we see uh, white or red come down, we know we might be in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, that's fine. And we found a white source, so now we're good. We're good because we got the Faithful Absence on two if we need it. don't think we will, but just in case we do. Okay, that is interesting. I don't think the Bombardment's going to work now because that's hanging around the battlefield. So we are going to have to kill that. That's always been such an interesting and anno uh, an annoying card. Uh, being able to just, you know, have the, the graveyard be untargetable. I get it. I mean, it's really nice to be able to stop people from being able to reanimate and stuff like that. It's just a frustrating card to, to try to play around, that's for sure. All right. Thirst for discovery on three here is clean. That is, that is annoying. I'm gonna have to kill that quickly. Ooh. I mean, that's not, that's not bad. It's just like, what in the world is going on here? Uh, that's going to fill their hand up like crazy. All right. We're definitely going to big score away at least one of these bombardments. Yeah. And then we can bombardment the following turn. So 
being at 20 life total right now and knowing that we're going to be able to get the bombardment down next turn feels great um uh, that doesn't feel great though because now they're going to get tokens of every single legendary that dies the shuffler seems to be on its a game today huh yeah, we've we've only seen like four cards in my entire deck and it's all copies of the same ones. That's so funny All right, let's see if this sticks though. I mean, there's a really good chance ah, There's a really good chance. This doesn't actually stick There are things uh, yeah, there's things that they could do to the bombardment uh, Right of oblivion comes to mind. I'm gonna go ahead and actually play this out and then I'm gonna play out the uh, big score one more time I, I want to make sure I can get at least like a negate down maybe uh, or at least a, a playable spell to get some sort of value out of it. There we go. All right, that's fine. Burn down the house seems like a pretty solid plan right about now. Let's drop you. Okay. That's not bad. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play out the, um, the bombardment. How many, uh, how much mana do we have left? It only allows us to have three mana left over. So what I'll do then is I will either thirst or fateful absence on their turn. Let's hopefully let's hope that they don't have like a void rend or an oblivion of some sort. All right, let's complicate things here a little bit for them. Let's take out their most uh, powerful creature that deals the most damage. And then uh, they obviously get a copy of that creature, which is annoying. They're going to be able to connive, but um, at least we take a little less damage and we do get to activate the bombardment at least uh, once here. OK, or not. That's fine. That's very helpful, actually. Get some more chumps. And uh, we get to chump now pretty much every turn. Uh, now that we got a revelry underneath the bombardment. Um, I'm starting to think, too, that the opponent doesn't have an answer for the bombardment right now. They don't. Let's go. That's huge. Okay. I feel so much better now. Okay. Do we play this out first and then go with the... Destroy evil. Destroy evil doesn't hit anything though. So probably not. I guess we go with this. Let's go ahead and play this and see if we can find an instant speed spell. We can play. Uh, there we go. Well, I'm not too sure if I should have targeted that one again. I maybe should have uh, targeted the herb war because I actually had the mana this time to the mana this time to uh Pay the ward cost i didn't have the mana to pay the ward cost last time which is why i didn't go for it and uh i got my mind on that that train of thought so now i've i should have definitely gone for the Urborg, i believe all right it's fine we get the infinite amount of the uh faithful absences so we're going to be able to do that as many times as we want but they're going to get a token of this creature so annoying here comes the more conniving a lot of things that they can do here man tons and tons of things they can do but uh yeah that was a slight mistake on my part little error little user error of course what else is new Jeez, the value that they get is absolutely absurd uh let's decline that let's do that i need that singularity i need that singularity There we go. There's a target for my destroy evil. Now we do have to keep in mind that if we do go for the uh, the AO with the destroy evil that they are going to be able to pump their entire squad. So we allow the attack to go through first. So that way we don't take a lot of extra damage here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and uh, hit the destroy evil on the AO. And then from there we burn down the house and we should be good. But then if we destroy the AO, they get back another AO, which is really, really annoying. Um, it is annoying. I can't lie. And, uh, 
gosh darn it but we get the fateful absence though and we can kill the radodrobic and it should happen on the stack yeah this actually will work out this will be this will be fine actually not yet not yet let the damage get through first sorry trying to figure out the sequencing here um now we go ahead and hit the destroy evil because then the uh faithful absence goes on the stack first and we should be able to kill the herborg here that's not bad we're definitely gonna play that we're definitely gonna play that yeah, we're definitely gonna play that yes we pay the two so Radodrobic's gone. Now the AO's not going to be able to come back. So we love that. And uh, now we get all the other triggers. So this is good stuff. All right. Thirst for discovery. Yeah, we've, we've pretty much got it locked up now. It's just uh, a matter of time. But that was unfortunate. Uh, the way I, I didn't... Uh, the way I didn't kill the Urborg first was a little tragic. Allowing that copy to come down. But um, we have a really good hand here. And... I mean, a lot of mana, which is a problem, but the graveyard, you know, pretty narrow. We're, we were pretty good high odds hitting the, uh, the singularity. Negate is fantastic. Um, let's do that. Let's do this. I love that they threw a Rafine out there too, just for extra sauce. All right, what do they get back here? They're going to get all those cards in hand um, because of the creature that's about to get blown up here. <clears throat> yep. And we finally pull the Singularity. That's going to be game. That's going to be game. Singularity. Uh, Thirst for Discovery. Yeah, these are all good. Decline that. Uh, yeah, you can go Sunset boom 10 to the face boom burn down the house everything goes back to their hand. We have the negate now we have another singularity in the uh, In the uh, bombardment, so this is good stuff. This should be uh, this should be it This should just about do it. They've got a lot of clue tokens to work with but have yet to try to uh, eat any of those 27 cards left gotta be kind of careful, but sure not allowing us to get any instant speed plays there which is a bit of a bummer but it's all good we do have the burn down a house which is lethal if we create the devils because we have the singularity so this will work out singularity uh sure sure yes and decline the rest. We don't really need anything else. That's just a little bit of overkill at this point. Let's go ahead and kill this. Give him the clue token. <clears throat> Draw a card. Create the uh, devils that are three. And then we attack their face. That's GG's. Boom, boom, boom. Love it. All right. Good game, man. Very good game. With the bombardment and us being controlled and just stacking all these things, it gets a little confusing. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of different triggers going on that you got to keep in mind and your sequencing's got to be good. But um, yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> we're working on it. Yeah, it uh, it gets a little tricky when you're playing a new deck every single day, guys. I hope you guys can bear with me. I know a lot of you guys, it triggers you when I make misplays, especially ones that may seem obvious to you. But it's hard to, it's hard to keep commentary going and flowing for you guys at the same time as playing and playing a new deck every day uh, sometimes for me two to three decks a day uh, i can kind of lose track of uh which deck i'm actually playing and stuff like that so uh if you could just bear with me i'd appreciate it opponent goes first i mean the hand that we have here it could be insane as long as we're not pressured too early because if we can thirst these two cards away it doubles the chances of pulling it with the bombardment um i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna wishful think our way to the end here um that we're gonna find what we need Opponent did take a mulligan. Um, looks like mono black. Okay. All right. We found a negate. That's perfect. That's what we need the most in this matchup. So now we got to find probably some kill spells. Burn down the house would be helpful because uh, it does hit a lot of things like, uh, you know, Liliana, any sort of creatures they may have, even up to Shieldred. The blade. Okay. Blade of the Oni. That's pretty good. 
That's pretty good. All right, that's fine. That's a tapped creature. Nothing really pressuring us too soon. I really hope that with the uh, thirst for discovery, we were able to find the burn down the house. It looks like that's going to be the most important thing we can find. We're eating a lot of damage. That's actually super helpful. It's actually really helpful. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we have to eat them. Ah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's got to be the play, right? It's got to be. It's got to be. Go back to 18. Be able to chump um, a couple of these things is going to be really helpful. Uh, I don't know what I want to chump, though. Do we chump the two skeletons? Probably. Still looking for that burn down the house, though. That's the that's the main thing. Where is the burn down the house? Three, four, five, ten. Okay. I think we're gonna be okay though guys we're 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 gonna be able to put some good blocks on these uh these skeletons and uh hopefully mitigate a lot of the damage it all comes down what this last card in their hand is it's a pretty good one it's a pretty good one they do send the whole squad huh Hmm, I don't have any one mana spells, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold the thirst for discovery as if we have something better than that <laughs> uh, Negate there wouldn't have been very good on a, a reckon raid so can't do that Ah, oh, we're taking so much heat here, man All right another sunset revelry is obviously extremely helpful uh just not okay well all right let's give it just a shot i mean that's eight life gain right there and four bodies so it's about as helpful as it gets burn down the house wouldn't have saved us like that because we would have swept the board and this would have got us for the one damage so pretty happy actually with that top deck that Probably couldn't have gotten any better. I wonder though. If our opponent attacks us right now, like with everything, is double blocking the the Oni a smart move? Because, okay, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That was a good play on their part. That was a very good play. I like that move. All right. Yeah, we're dead here guys. Unfortunately, we are dead here. We didn't draw very well here at the end I mean one burn down the house would have been so helpful at some point in this game, but we never got it Unfortunately, we uh, we just didn't draw very well. Um, yeah Shoot just a bummer and then they have cut down as well. Let's go ahead and negate that I guess that's all we can do really is negate this and uh, protect our 1-1 to block the 4-4 That is lethal after all and uh, even let's just say, for instance, we do find our burn down the house at this point. We still lose the game because we sweep the board. They're left with the, you know, the blade of the Oni. So we will lose the game no matter which way you look at it. And it's nada. It's a nada. All right. GG's. What a bummer, man. Not the way I wanted to go down. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, that was a very aggressive build on their part. You know, good on them. Um, I like mono black when it's aggressive like that. Pretty cool idea. All right, we can squeeze one more game in here before we call it. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying today's video, man. We've uh, we've made some pretty cool ones these last couple of weeks. I'm very, very happy with the the, the meta kind of building around right now because aside from mono blue, <laughs> because it's opened up a lot of creativity for me lately, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. I know bombardment's no uh, 
it's not exactly super creative, but uh, it is nice to play in different colors and strategies. Opponent gets to go first. I mean, ah, this could be dangerous to keep this. We're gonna we're gonna hope for a couple of good top decks here, but you know what? I like it. Uh, big score helps out a ton. Now we just need to find the mana. Now we just need mana every turn. Every turn. There we go. We love that. One more time. One more time, man. Should we call up old uh, Mark Rosewater? Or is it Rosewater? Rosewater. Hello, Mark. Can you uh, can you throw your boy a land on this next turn? Yeah, yeah. My streamer code? It's uh, 372. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Bye. All right. He said he's got me. He's going to throw me a land here. He meant to give me a land. He just he got the he got the code wrong. It's it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, discard a card. What just happened? Why am I discarding a card? Oh, it's end of my turn. <laughs> it's the end of my turn. Silly. All right. All right. Are we gonna lose this game, guys? Gosh darn it. We're probably gonna lose this darn game. All right, let's blow up the Jaya. God, they're so far ahead of us in mana. It's not even funny. There we go, Mark. Mark coming through. Mark comes through in a pinch is what I'm talking about. Just a little mix up there with the code at the, you know, at the beginning. Don't worry, we're friends. We're friends. He's got me. All right. I've got a big score here. Probably should, yeah, you know, I should probably do this now. I should probably do this now. Because if they do counter me, that would be pretty sad. So let's do this now. Pass the turn. They are tapped out, so we gotta take advantage of that when we can. All right, so now we can play the bombardment this next turn, uh, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, but again, red blue means potential counter spells. So are we ready for that? Are we ready for those types of spells? No, we're not. So we're gonna probably pass on three, four, five, six. Okay, so we get all three triggers with the Sunset Revelry. That's a that's a no-brainer then. That's a no-brainer cast right there. Three, four, five, boom, boom. All right, we get the land, love that. All right, we're back in this game. I mean, we were out of it there for a second. That was really, really bad, but we are back and uh, better than ever. You know, you wanna thirst? I'll thirst. I like the negate. I'm going to go ahead and let this resolve, though. I'm going to let this all resolve. I'm going to use the negate to protect our bombardment. Another Jaya to the graveyard. I wonder if they're a bomb. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if they're a bombardment deck. That'd be pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to definitely counter that. I also have destroy evil, by the way. We can always destroy evil uh, later if they want to recast. But uh, they're going to have multiples of those, obviously. So we're going to have to, you know, keep taking care of those as they come. As long as we can take care of all four, we're good to go. I like my odds of this game now because they're not running white or any other colors, it looks like. So it, a pretty good chance that the opponent here is not going to have an answer for the bombardment. I mean, there is things like a braid, but does a braid hit enchantments or does that hit artifacts? I think it hits artifacts. Um, I'm going to go for it. They're tapped out. I'm going to go for it. There's really not a better time than when they're tapped out to, to play it out. So let's just hope there's no uh, answers. That's fine. I'm A-OK. -okay. They're probably going to scoop on this next play, which is a little, little unfortunate. would love that this game goes a little bit longer, but... Uh, they're not gonna like this. We're just we're just cut out for um, uh, a Bombardment deck. They're not I don't think but they did just trigger their bombardment. You never know there could be something coming down here worthwhile Lightning strike. Nope That's not gonna do it 
lightning strike consider land goes to the grave i get back a negate well that's a little late decline blow that up boom okay now go now go <laughs> All right, we have the faithful absence. We have a uh, you know uh, interaction here, so we can trigger the bombardment again, um, which will in turn give us that negate. All right, so you're dead. Yes, please negate, please negate the lightning strike. Boom, thirst. We get to go ahead and draw some cards here. Give me a basic. Yes, yes. See you later. That's dead. They do get a clue token. I find another bombardment though. So even if they are able to somehow remove my bombardment, I'll be all right. Everything's going to be all right. All right. So probably going to need to hit a sunset revelry here for being honest. I think that's just too good to pass up. Am I right? Yes, and no. Love that. And we have burned down the house. I mean, we're going to be able to just block all these devils anyways. <clears throat> every single turn. And we're going to be able to gain life every turn. This game is just about wrapped up here, ladies and gentlemen. Getting a singularity underneath one of these is all it's going to take to just kind of close this out. They kill the 1-1, one, one, they go face. We have uh, two bombardments and five cards in hand as opposed to there are just three cards in hand. And as soon as we are able to get a destroy evil underneath one of these bombardments, they'll never be able to resolve their own bombardment. So this should just about close it out. There it is. GG's. Very good game. Shout out to Mark, my boy, for that land. Appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and break this thing down. That is going to conclude today's gameplay portion of the video. Um, I'm going to break the deck down and talk about it a little bit more in depth. But before I do so, I want to give you guys a huge shout out if you made it this far into the video. It absolutely helps a ton when you stick around this long. So thank you so much for that. I do appreciate that support. Uh, but with that being said, let's take a look at today's build, man. Uh, obviously, another bombardment deck. We had to, we had to run this one out another time. Uh, this thing is just too fun to stay away from, man. It's 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 such a busted uh, you know permanent card that. Uh, essentially says if you can get this thing to stick and there's no removals, you're going to win the game. Uh, that's that's how busted this thing can be. Um, obviously, it is a, a floating target, which is why I splashed in the negates here today because negate has been really clutch for us against Invoke Despair. Kind of the only card I've been really scared of lately because Mono Black is still kind of floating around out there. But everything's kind of shifting uh, to these like uh, uh, aggro decks. Um, so um, having things that, you know, sweep the board like burn down the house and also gain us life like Sunset Revelry. I thought this would be a pretty good try um, and see if we can make this work. And it actually worked out pretty cool. Um, I also really love the Explosive Singularity play. <laughs> I'm sorry if you heard that sound. That's a, that's a sub. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. James, shout out to James for the sub. Um, but anyways, Explosive Singularity. A card that's super expensive and uh, obviously you can close out a game very quickly. Um, but it's, no one's really playing it because why are you going to pay 10 mana to deal 10 damage? It takes way too long, right? Well, that's why I'm trying to get this thing into the graveyard as fast as I can with things like Thirst for Discovery, uh, Big Score, and then hopefully without there being too many uh, instant of sorceries in the graveyard, we can play this uh, you know, right away with the bombardment, which is really ridiculous, especially if we're gonna be playing it every single turn. It uh, it only takes two turns to close the game out. So I thought that'd be a fun addition to the deck and see if we can close games out really quickly. And uh, it's been working out pretty nicely. Um, obviously, burn down the house is always gonna be a really nice secondary win con for you. Um, and I love how it's like basically a double-sided card. You get to sweep the board or you can create these devils, which then can win you the game. Um, and then we went really cheap in the early game. Um, I wanted to make sure I was able to deal with aggro, like I said, so we added Sunset Revelry. Uh, we already had the Sweeper built in, so the Sunset Revelry is going to buy us time. It's going to create a little chump blockers as well as gaining us life, drawing us cards, those types of things. Um, and then obviously Fateful Absence and Destroy Evil were my removal of choice. Uh, not a lot of red, white, or I'm sorry, not a, red, a lot of red, white, and blue removal spells. 
um, that are super great right now. But these two in particular, obviously Faithful Absence hits almost everything. So this thing is awesome. Um, and then Destroy Evil, it's it, it kind of covers the enchantment bases. So you got Faithful Absence and then Destroy Evil as a package. You've hit pretty much every permanent you can think of aside from artifacts on the field. So these two cards have been working really, really nicely for me, uh, which is great. And then again, I, I can't stress enough, the Negate has really kind of tied and glued this deck together because there have been some really feels bad moments against mono black with this deck uh before i added the, the negate into it uh you know if you saw mono black we were like oh gosh we just lose we lose on turn five to invoke despair we got to restart all over again but with the negate in hand you're good to go you shut down that that first invoke despair and most of the times you're going to be able to close the game from there so uh the deck though worked out pretty nicely i enjoyed it a lot i hope you guys did as well um there's not a whole lot more to say about it nice little control shell built around bombardment pretty simple uh but yeah guys thank you so much for everything before we get out of here though um as always huge huge shout out goes to the marty mob if you guys don't know the marty mob is the membership program here on the channel so got to give these guys a huge shout out for helping support the channel through their monthly memberships it helps a ton keeps the channel going keeps the lights on as you can say and uh i just want to make sure they know how much i truly appreciate them at the end of every video uh before i get out of here though um do i have anything else i want to say not really I, I today's today's gonna be the wednesday video so uh there will be a live stream tonight if you guys want to come check that out live stream um six o'clock mst and uh you guys come check us out or hit that notification bell it'll let you guys know when we go live uh, but yeah that's that's all i got to say for now and uh that'll end today's video so thanks for watching i appreciate you and uh we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers so if you haven't already hit the bell that i mean sorry the subscribe button it, it helps out a ton guys we're we should hit it by the end of the year i hope which is a really big a uh, really big uh, landmark for us, so our milestone, I should say. So thank you so much. If you've already done that, it means the world to me. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's enough of me. I'm, I'm just kind of rambling now. I'll see you guys on the next video. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Man, all of the time Coming with the best decks to the meta This ain't cheap, yeah, it's